Hi guys, uh, I am Sude Kutisar from University of Kent Architecture Visualization Master Degree Program. Today I want to talk about one of our experience. Um, what I will uh, talk about, firstly I want to show you uh, my projection mapping show uh, and then I want to talk about how I did it, uh, which program I used and how you can achieve um, this kind of uh, shows. Ashford Night uh, Light Festival on 26th November actually and the overall theme is space um, and the building is the former Odeon Cinema uh, building in Ashford uh, the, it needs to be 3 minutes around 3 minutes length uh, animation uh, for projecting and actually if you look uh, at our aim aim is exploring the relationship between the projected light and the uh, building facade. This harmony is so important and uh, in a three way actually. Passive, physically active and metaphysically active. Uh, I start um, with a research actually uh, and I learned that um, uh, Odeon Theatre is uh, open at on um, 1936 uh, with Eddie Cantor in Strike Me Pink movie and then I uh, look at the, some kind of uh, former building facades and I decided why I am not doing some kind of time traveling things um, with uh, passing through the space 
and um, so I give a name, the not too distant future, because we are now we are in the not uh, too distant future. And for the highlighting, um, we are uh, going uh, uh, we enter a new world. I create. I decide to create a door. Here you can see with the light. I want to emphasize it, and then uh, I want to create and destroy. For the, it's like a creation of the universe, like a big bang theory things. Uh, I want to highlight this, and of course I want to add color uh, for the uh, taking attention the audience, and the uh, uh, things are uh, going on for the uh, space. Uh, when we came to the character design, it's the more um, it's the most challengeable uh, part actually because. Uh, the creation of a creating of a character it's not an easy thing uh, i even look at unreal engine but i i found that so easy one the uh, adobe animator character animator i will talk about that also uh, i decided it's it needs to be astronaut girl maybe it can she can um look like me and i want to give some specific movement for adding the projection mapping a uh, sitting shaking hand and uh, shutting with a gun i decided to them if you look at the five um i think i need to highlight of course the traveling things distortion uh, on the facade i i I decided to do that and at the end we will uh, reach the uh, former uh, audience cinema facade uh, I want to uh, make like a, a respecting of the 1930s facade uh, at the end you can see the uh, that building after creating a storyboard uh, in 3ds Max I use uh, modifiers and for the creating uh, a character adobe character and matrix i use and you can see the uh, calibration movement uh, with the character and me and then i combine them on adobe after effects uh, 3ds max we have the point uh, cloud uh, modeling the high detail mesh and of course the this is the most important part when we thinking um, my meeting about uh, projection mapping the camera position here you can see uh, the camera position and uh, in that position what we see here you can see and of course uh, the audience cinema and the where we uh, projected uh, with, um, using this actually the first of all uh, we use this and we try to looking at the more detailed one uh, with using that model if you look at my uh, working model uh, i try to create uh, the each elements uh, with layers uh, so it's it's more easy to uh, work with them uh, and also I want to show some kind of movements I create uh, using the editable mesh and the, in the modifier list I use um, some modifiers and uh, the pro optimizer and here you can manage the a vertex and uh, you can calculate this and you can create vertex and a band you can arrange the angle uh, direction and the other things it's like a parametric design it's so um, effective it's having a so effective usage uh, especially if you use with the animation it's create a seriously good uh, movements and TVist, I look at uh, the angles and the axis and the wave again. It's also uh, for like a flag. Uh, I make uh, this for the creating a 
waving like a flag for the facades of the building and the melting. I use so much place because here you can see the solidity uh, you can use as a like ice, as a glass, um, as a jelly form, as a plastic form. This is so useful. I generally choose the glass one because I'm having also breaking glass glass sound effect and with the, using the sound effects and the movement together it creates more effective uh, results um, we experience this actually and, um, and the noise also this is for the creating a little bit um, a little bit more movement on uh, it's about augmented reality technology and um, projection mapping uh, mainly we focus um, the projection mapping is the act of three-dimensional uh, projection on three-dimensional objects actually uh, for the giving the illusion of uh, animation and the movement uh, what we use as a 3d uh, object of course the uh, building facades we use uh, and generally we did uh, on 3ds max uh, for the animation and modeling and uh, we focus on the fusion of light and the architecture 